Thank you for the introduction and it's good honor for me to give the presentation here. Uh, my name is Xi Tang and from the you know, of Neuchâtel in Switzerland. Um, so today I'm very happy to be here to present our uh, recently developed um, the modular data simulation framework for integrated surface and subsurface hydrological model uh, called uh, HDS-PDAF. Um, in the next, uh, in the following 10 minutes, I'm covering the uh, following topics and on why we want to develop such a system. Uh, and then uh, I'll discuss about the um, specific features and um, advancement uh, of this system. Uh, and afterwards, uh, I will show a very simple uh, application case uh, as an illustrative, uh, illustrative example. And in the end, um, um, uh, some uh, some discussion on the implications of these fundings and our uh, our future plan. Uh, to understand our uh, motivation behind this work, um, so this work uh, actually is done uh, within the uh, EU project, EU 2020 project, uh, which is called uh, Water Agri. Um, so we consider the challenges faced in real-time operational um, simulation of water quantity and uh, water uh, especially under the uh, uh, under the uh, challenging, um, uh, say, changing uh, weather conditions. Um, so we want to uh, enhance the water management practice by uh, considering the groundwater, the soil moisture conditions, uh, and also the weather uh, conditions. Uh, and we want to uh, explicitly consider technical infrastructures like the drains, uh, the channels, uh, the dams, um, uh, such kind of uh, structures. Um, which is very uh, important for uh, effective water management. Um, and then, uh, say, our motivation is to create a robust system uh, which can support efficient and uh, sustainable water management. Um, so our framework uh, is designed to uh, uh, allow or simulating of different uh, alone or jointly. Um, and uh, especially uh, besides uh, uh, besides assimilating the uh, uh, we also uh, uh, allow our system to uh, assimilate the uh, noble gas trans uh, noble gas concentrations uh, in the through transport process. Um, okay. The integrated hydrological subsurface subsurface hydrological model we use is a hydrogeosphere, uh, which is um, physically based uh, integrated hydrological model and are in one uh, framework in the water cycle. Uh, and it can uh, explicitly uh, simulate the agricultural infrastructures uh, and also consider the uh, soil types explicitly. Uh, uh, there is also a, a very simplified uh, land surface module within this uh, hydrological model. And the software environment for data simulation uh, is the uh, parallel data simulation framework PDAF, uh, which provides ensemble based and um, and it provides fully implemented and parallelized uh, uh, algorithm and it's an open source uh, software and has already been coupled with many numerical models like the ocean model, uh, NEMO, uh, Output climate model and also uh, some hydrological model and terrestrial system, uh, Terrasis MP. Um, and in the following three slides, uh, I'll show the structure of uh, uh, HDS PDAF. So uh, let's uh, have a look at um, the pure one, the pure HDS one without data simulation. And there are three uh, executables um, the first two is brought and PHGS. Uh, they are used to run the model, and the last one, which is plot, is used to uh, plot, uh, visualize the results. And our coupled system, uh, there are four modules actually, our uh, consisted uh, 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 system. Uh, we keep the first two, Grok and PHGS, uh, for the model one, for the numerical hydrological model one. Uh, at the forward, uh, for the forward model running, and after each time steps. Um, of the model run, our uh, data simulation goes in, and this is done by uh, HDS PDAF, which what uh, we call is a model binding. Um, and these model bindings are actually are a set of uh, Fortran routines, uh, which uh, are used, uh, which are uh, served 
uh, at the interface between the uh, data and the uh, hydrological model uh, HDS. And um, so this is uh, looped uh, for each time step. And uh, all of these um, different modules are driven or um, uh, managed uh, by the run script. So we call it a driver module. Uh, this is to manage the data simulation run over. Um, and these are uh, the run script trade the Python uh, number of run script. Um, Okay, um, these two um, are, uh, so the following two slides, uh, I will show uh, what's done inside HGS PDAF. Uh, to couple HGS uh, with PDAF uh, for each uh, ensemble state variable, uh, we need to initialize from the restart file uh, because this is not um, open source software, so we need time step. This means we need to initialize from the restart file and then integrate with the model Uh, restart files again, and then compute analysis step and write new restart files uh, each time step loop it. And then for each observation type, uh, we have the indive uh, independent uh, observation operator model. And this data simulation results, because we don't use the HS plot uh, directly um, provided by the uh, model itself to visualize the results and restore the output of and the uh, uh, data simulation results. Uh, into NetCTF files. Uh, we are so using the post processing uh, tools and pre processing tools to do. And how does this uh, data simulation model binding work? So, first of all, we need to initialize it, uh, the whole system. So, initialize parallelization, parallelization and initialize. Uh, everything parameter or configuration for the data simulation. Um, and then our uh, model runs, and then the, the pure uh, model run, then we get the uh, forecast phase, then we write this forecast phase into the net CDF file. And afterwards, observations come in, then we do data simulation with speed up, and afterwards, um, so within this uh, operate, uh, observation module, we with the raw observation and map it into state vector uh, space. And then uh, we do data simulation, get the analysis phase, and then write these results into the net CDF file. Again, um, all of these, uh, after all of these are done, then uh, we get the analysis and use it as the initial um, uh, condition for the next time step for the model run. Uh, after all of them, these are done, then we finalize uh, our system. And uh, currently, um, our, uh, our, our system allow us to jointly uh, update the state variables like the hydraulic temperature uh, and noble gas concentration, uh, these other uh, state variable. And we also allow our uh, updates the uh, model parameter like the and uh, porosity, this is the soil uh, property, and also the and the water, uh, water retention curve. Um, and uh, different types of operations like the piezometric pass, the soil moisture, and the noble gas concentrations uh, can be uh, assimilated along on joint. Um, so for, uh, after we uh, build up the, the, the system, we did, um, 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 with a uh, simplified 3D uh, angular model. Uh, it's a river aquifer model, and we, we play uh, aquifer uh, on, uh, along one side. Um, and we uh, use heterogeneous hydraulic conductivities uh, and uh, porosities. Um, 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 for different endemic member. 
And for the data simulation experiment, we place eight uh, observation points uh, for pathometrics and soil moisture. And we use an example size of 100 and uh, um, pass it with the uh, basic uh, algorithm for the index camera filter. Um, to simplify this model, uh, the only transient boundary condition Uh, 15 days, um, we have a pumping rate of 400. Uh, after 50 days, we switch it on again. Highly constrained uh, under this high uh, pumping condition. And the results are uh, evaluated by comparing the estimated has with the observation between the assimilation run and the free run. And this figure on the left hand side shows the average absolute difference between the simulated and the observed head. Calculated over all of these eight observation uh, points. And these errors um, are higher for the simulations runs in the pumping period. Uh, especially for the free one, uh, it's a homogeneous K. And uh, with data simulation, actually, the errors are um, reduced. Okay. Uh, for the half homogeneous case, uh, it's reduced by about 40% uh, in the pumping period. And for the heterogeneous, Is more or uh, is over, uh, say, ninety percent. Uh, and uh, in the non-pumping period, we see no nice improvement. Uh, is about sixty percent. And for the actually for the periods, uh, error for the open front is uh, very small because the model is not uh, constrained and uh, this model is also. Flat, so uh, the error is relatively um, okay. And uh, this work uh, has already been published uh, recently, uh, last month, uh, on GMD. And um, HGSPDAF is an open source software, and you can get it uh, from the repository, the GitHub repository. Uh, and uh, on this uh, GitHub uh, repository, uh, 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 illustrative uh, example what we five 3D synthetic experiment. Um, and if you are interested in our so sign in and you will also always get the latest news on HSP Duff. Um, um, a brief summary of our uh, data simulation system. So this is a couple data simulation system. Um, this allows a simulation of update of state and parameter. And uh, the performance of this system has already been tested uh, with a synthetic model. And um, uh, in the showcase uh, here, uh, we are simulating uh, only the piece and what we tested also uh, is also this uh, simulating uh, the soil moisture um, in different steps. Um, but uh, since the soil moisture is somehow related to hydraulic gas, so we didn't show the results here. And currently, we are testing this uh, with some other simplified model. Uh, for example, the one column model test, uh, assimilate, uh, to, to test if assimilating the soil moisture can also improve the uh, estimation of drainage and the evapotranspiration. And also a real-world uh, catchment model uh, in Zealand in Switzerland, which is the largest uh, vegetation for Switzerland. Uh, and the end, uh, I'd like to acknowledge uh, the uh, water upgrade fund my postdoc uh, and the uh, uh, Ulysses supercomputer uh, computer, supercomputer resources.